Alan, that's right. It is two juveniles being charged in this case, a 15-year-old and a 16-year-old. Now, I'm told that 16-year-old will be charged as an adult facing first-degree murder charges along with vehicular hijacking charges. David, Superintendent David Brown does believe this was a targeted shooting that happened of Michael Brown. Police say the 16-year-old suspect stole a car earlier in the day. And then around 3.15, he got out of that car and shot Michael Brown, who was just walking home from the Chicago Military Academy. Police say the 16-year-old offender then got back in the car and allegedly fled with the other suspect. Officers later found that car using technology like license plate readers. Police also say the 16-year-old does have a criminal history and he was wearing an electronic monitoring bracelet at the time. Superintendent Brown made it clear that something needs to be done about this violence among Chicago's youth. Losing too many young people uh, and it's really saddening. There's another family, another neighborhood, another community left to pick up the pieces after living their worst nightmare. So again, you have 15 year old Michael Brown shot and killed here while he was just walking home from school. You have two juvenile suspects. We are going to learn more about the criminal history of those suspects tomorrow once a 16 year old appears in bond court. And that is also when we should learn more about their names and background overall. As we keep learning more about the situation, we'll be sure to keep you updated.